illegal immigrants. And I was like, Jesus, that's terrible. I was kind of embarrassed because in Ireland, we open our hands to everybody. But you can't do that. Um, you can't just, yeah, we need to have our sentences. I'll talk about that in a second. But also you can't just be like, let's have everybody in. So Ireland and England, and here in America, they always talk about, oh, you're going back to Europe. And I just go, I now say, oh, I was back in Europe. I don't go, I was in Ireland. Even though we know as Irish people, we're, we're not like mainland French and Spanish and, and Ger Germans. We're not, well, we're certainly not like the Germans because they're no fucking crack. But we're not like even, we're the French or the Spanish. We're not like the same, similar. And, and we get on and everything else. And you can go down for your holidays and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But we're not the same as Europeans. So Ireland and England is not like mainland Europe. Mainland Europe is not like Eastern Europe. Let's call the fucking ball here. Eastern Europe, there's a lot of Eastern European immigrants who are in Ireland. They are involved in crime. Uh, there's certain cities who are doing scams. I've never met a woman that isn't genetically modified that they wouldn't steal the toilet brush out of your toilet. And you can come at me for, I couldn't give a fuck. I'm just gonna say how it is. They are genetically modified. It's in their DNA. They're brought up as children, always to be scamming and looking for the opportunity. Why are they getting citizenship to Ireland? And then there's Brazilian people who aren't. I don't understand it. Um, Tougher sentences, obviously. The police couldn't catch COVID. And also the other problem as well is there's videos all over Facebook. You can see the people who've taken opportunity of the war in the Ukraine who have come. So obviously Ireland wants to take refugees. We've always been that sort of a people. Our moral compass is about a value of life. We have a huge value on life, right? The Brazilians are the same. They care about families that get together. You cannot have people who have a huge value on life and then you start having people who come over who don't have a value in life. Like the person today who did what they did, no value in life. Life is cheap. Life costs nothing. There's no value in life. So you can't, we can't as a nation where we have a great value in life. Like in America, the main value is on money, okay? That's just what they're like. That's just what they are here. It's absolutely money, money, money. That's what keeps it going here. You, if you fell over in the street, someone would step over you. I will see homeless people, they're having a complete meltdown and I feel so bad because when I first moved here, I was like, God, no one's doing anything and now you just go about your business. If that happened in Ireland, you'd have a granny and Mary be sitting down, we get you a cup of tea, don't worry, we'll sort you out. Like it just, there's no value in life in certain countries. In America, the value is on predominantly money, but they still, obviously, there's huge value on life. In Ireland, there's a huge value on life. Each life is valued beyond anywhere I've ever seen. There's a huge, huge moral compass in Ireland. And I think that's why I do well over here, because I come with that moral compass along with the hustle. Go to Eastern European. I've been to, I've been to some of those countries. I remember we were going over, I was looking at maybe opening dental practices over there. I was driving around in a 1982 Corolla. They are poor as fuck. There is not the same value in life. I have, like I said, and I'll say this again, I would not literally steal the toilet brush out of your toilet. They are genetically modified to steal and rob. Why are we giving them citizenship? Why are they allowed into Ireland? There's also a big cabal now of Eastern European people. And also there's 254, I believe it's 254, unpapered male from on papered males who have come in from the Ukraine and come in that corridor of the refugee and they're actually on the sex register over there and they're just allowed to walk into Ireland. And again, you can say the EU open passage. The Ukraine is not open passage. That's not an EU country. So absolutely, do we want to take in refugees and people who've lost their home? Of course, that's the way the Irish are. We're the land of saints and scholars. That's what we are. Do we need to take in 254 unpapered sexual offenders from the Ukraine, males unpapered? No. So like catch them and deport them, get out. Like it's, I just, it's very simple. There's certain people that we want to invite who have the same moral compass as us. The Brazilians, very hardworking. Um, yeah, you need a point system for immigration. Thanks, Hannah. Hannah, do you want to be president?